Welcome back. Welcome, welcome to another Q and A. <laughs> <laughs> Got some questions for you, exciting questions, and they are picked at random. And if you want us to answer any of your questions, please write them on the comments on YouTube or ask us anonymously on our Tumblr. Tumblr. Yeah. First question. Hello, Florence and Reed. I never done a blowjob before. I'm currently in a friends with benefits relationship, and I'd like to try it. I just don't want to appear unexperienced. How do I seem confident whilst giving him head? Well, firstly, you need to watch our uh, giving <laughs> head basic basic video. Basic video. Um, a bit here. And there is nothing wrong with not knowing how to give head. Nothing wrong with that. It, confidence can be sexy and attractive, um, but if you genuinely are worried, there's no harm in telling them, this is my first blowjob. Like, tell me what to do. You can even make it into a little, yeah. a little bit of a power play. Like, what do you like? What what turns you on? How do you like it? Do you like it fast or slow yeah. or, or hard or strong? Yeah, there's um, nothing wrong with being unexperienced. Everyone's going to have their first time yeah. doing a blowjob. Especially if you're, you've are you got a, a relationship where you're going to be seeing each other more than once um, and they then you know that you can practice and get better and learn exactly how they like it. Yeah. Best thing you could do is watch porn. Like, as bad as that sounds, mm. um, porn was where I learned how to do confident blowjobs because the girls in porn, they know what they're doing um, and they're, they're doing a blowjob for show. So they're making it look yeah. good for the viewer, for the man. Which does make you seem... Confident. If you're confident. Definitely, yeah. yeah. As long as you're enjoying it and you look like you're enjoying giving him head, that's yeah. going to be more attractive than anything at all. Yeah, exactly. Just, yeah, if you're enjoying it, mm. then it seems confident. Yeah. Um, Even if you're nervous about it, um, if you're, you know, you've got a big smile on your face and you're like, I want to learn, I want to do this right, yeah. that's sexy than being like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not, not what sure. What am I doing? I think if you do watch our basics video, it gives you a really good sort of outline on what to do for your first blowjob, basically. Yeah. And like just knowing those basic tips will give you that confidence, mm. I think. Uh, it's always so daunting up to the point where you have the actual dick in your mouth. Um, as we were yeah. saying in a previous video, um, most of the fear comes from your own head and yeah, the definitely. fear of not knowing what to do and thinking that you're going to go wrong. There's nothing wrong with going wrong. Nothing wrong. Like You have to learn and it's fun to learn. It's it's like sucking a finger. If I told you how to suck my finger sexily, I'm sure you could do it. There's You just have to be aware of his body and his reactions um, as, as he would with you. I'm sure you are going to do great. Yes. You just got to get past that first hurdle yeah definitely put that dick in your mouth oh yeah it is hi i love your youtube channel watching it non-stop um pure in and out fingering really turns me on and i love having a lewd up cock to sit on when i'm on top though i can only come from clitoral stimulation how can i make purely penetrative p positions like doggy style more enjoyable in the past they've made me feel uncomfortable or sore that sucks but that is totally normal actually very very normal um, most women find clitoral stimulation like the easiest way to have an orgasm if not the only way exactly i mean I, like it was the only way i could orgasm for years and years and years it's only been recently that i can come from g-spot um yeah. and that's figuring out that i need to you know relax and calm down and not exactly. try to have a g-spot orgasm but just enjoy the pleasure that i'm feeling and yeah. focus in on that and also like if you don't feel like you're ready to just enjoy penetrative sex without any extra stimulation then just introduce toys there's loads Tons of, of things you can do whilst you're in do doggy style if a guy or girl guy it's a penis <laughs> <laughs> it's a penis stimulates your clitoris whilst he's fucking you from behind like you can just put his hand around and wank you off and it feels amazing mm. if not do it yourself because it, yeah, can exactly. be, it can be quite tricky to get around there yeah um, doggy is a tricky position anyway especially yeah. if you've got like quite a large penis to work yeah. with well, like, that can be quite painful yeah like we said before it's not our favorite position because mm. we both find it quite painful and not and that, comfortable you know yeah, it's not it's that like, short, like it just isn't that pleasurable mm, it's it's all about the show doggy it's yeah. like about the way it looks and yeah. um often or not when you're in that position it can feel tighter for the guy yeah. plus 
I queef every time. Yeah, every time queef, like far out of my fanny. It is just so bad. <laughs> it's just like so ironic that all guys love doggy because it's like the sexiest position. Yeah, like, and it's then really queef. hot. <laughs> yeah, and then you just <laughs> massive fanny fart, like. <laughs> and that's just because the way you're lying and the way that your body is and you end up like sucking all this extra air in and yeah so fun <laughs> <laughs> and then when you have to like sit down or you come out of doggy and you like yeah <laughs> you're like sitting there like oh shit did he hear that he heard that yeah <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta make it fun the queefing um, yeah but there's another video on queefing if you want to check that out <laughs> but be totally cool with just coming from clitoral orgasms um yeah Fingering so can be a very intimate thing anyway, and that can turn you on in a different way, not because you're G-spot orgasming or anything, but most of it's just try really hard not to overthink the situation and yeah. the position that you're in. Just enjoy it for him and enjoy what you're feeling for yourself. Yeah. Um, worry about the orgasms later. You don't have to have a G-spot orgasm now. You don't have to orgasm. Yeah. You don't have to protect. orgasm at all, even. Yeah, it's so true. If, if you're worrying about it, it's like, if you want it so bad, it will never come. You just have to let it come naturally. I've never had an orgasm in doggy. Yeah, I don't think I have either. Maybe, I think I've had one like face down, ass up. Yeah. Like where you're kind of all squished up and leaning on your yeah. face anyway, but not doggy, no, that's no. hard. You, it could feel, doggies, you can get, the guy can kind of get the benefits from doggy yeah. with just like, like when you are face down. And he's yeah. he's just on top, but you're obviously laying the yeah, like way. When you're lying completely flat on your stomach, yeah, and then he's fucking above you. That's like doggy, but not doggy, isn't yeah. it? That's like the same feeling. It's just but it's as so much more pleasurable for us. So much more pleasurable. Oh my god, it's like more relaxing. Yeah, you're not just really sitting there nice. going like. Oh. And it can it can be hot. Doggy, of course, can be hot. It can look really hot as well. Yeah, especially if you're fucking in front of a mirror, it looks hot. Yeah, but it does look hot. It doesn't necessarily mean you'll come in that position. But I would suggest using vibrators at the same yeah. time. Just even like a little bullet, clitoral stimulator, mm. anything really. Or a big body wand if you yeah. want to go over that extra mile. <laughs> yes, we we do really like we, them. Yeah, we do love our body wands. We both got a doxy each and we love them. Love them. Yeah, they're good. It's the only thing I use at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> I swear by it. It's because it's just so big and strong that, like, I feel like even if you're using a tiny bullet and you're getting penetrative sex, your body can't focus on either one pleasure. Yeah. It's a bit too confusing. Yeah, but it's just so big and bold. Yeah, with, that... a, with a body wand, it's like, you have to come. You have no choice. <laughs> Third question. Next question. <laughs> Third question. Why are the dildos used in your videos so unrealistic? It's daunting. Couldn't you use a five, four to five inch dildo as big as how a man's penis is usually. <laughs> it's a very wow. good point, yeah. <laughs> um, we're sorry about this. We don't mean for it to be daunting at all. No. Are we just... To be honest, it's comic value. <laughs> yeah, like we, we just kind of like that. I mean, neither of us can use that dick. It is so big, it's so uh, yeah. scary looking that we kind of use it just for the fun of it. Yeah. And on top of that, we were donated a few sex toys. Um, yeah. And those are the only two dildos that we have, penis-shaped like, dildos. Yeah, proper penis-shaped. Yeah, um, and they happen to be too big for both of us. Even the, the, the clear purple one, that's yeah. too big for me to use. I don't use that. Nope. Um, we just use it because it's all veiny and looks like a dick. Yeah, it looks, it's, it's the most realistic ones we have, so yeah. that's why they are. But that's a good point. It's we a should, good point. Yeah. We, we should use more... Uh, well, I mean, some people's dicks are that big. But yeah. Just we should use more average size cocks but you know what like this channel is supposed to be fun and funny and sometimes it's funny to have a big dick to oh, hold we yeah we, we do talk. like a big dick <laughs> just because it's funny like you wave it, it about yeah, and exactly. it makes good photos um yeah but i think we will look into getting like proper yeah proper it would real be good size have, dicks. like especially we should like get like really realistic like pink <gasps> veiny ones speaking of which we've got a clone of the willy kit Cl clone the willy clone a willy yes. kit um hopefully i'll have like real boyfriend dick um to use yeah. would that be weird though you're holding my boyfriend's dick probably <laughs> <laughs> love it love it <laughs> i'm gonna be like attacking her with it <laughs> but yeah good point and we'll look into doing that yes sorry <laughs> <laughs> sorry big black dick <laughs> in your face 
Last question. Um, hello, girls. Love your show. I'm 25, and I haven't ever had a boyfriend who shared my need for being spanked. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All three of them were happy to physically spank my butt, but couldn't do it as punishment slash discipline. Um, I'm starting to think it's a kink. I used to think of myself as just slightly submissive vanilla person. How do I find a partner who is into it? I'm not into serious BDSM like bondage. I just need someone to be an angry husband, teacher, police officer if you get my point. <laughs> yeah. Spank the shit out of you! That's really really hot. That's really it's exciting so and it's really good that you're like understanding that it is becoming more of a specific niche fetish rather than just the whole I like BDSM thing. I would suggest as well like I think it's so good like when you're dating and stuff to be like really honest yeah. with people like when you first meet them. Absolutely. Like, don't be afraid of saying like look I'm looking for someone that will spank me and tell me off when I'm naughty and stuff like that. Like say you like I love role play. I want you to spank me and discipline me. Yeah, and but I don't like. I'm not into all the other BDSM stuff. Yeah, I mean you can still be into it, especially if they're into it. You can yeah. have a compromise. Um, and often or not, there are guys out there that don't know that they're into it because yeah. they haven't allowed themselves to exactly. look into it and divulge. And, and half the time, guys feel really guilty about looking at porn that can be seen as as to be humiliating yeah. girls or all that jazz totally right you need to be completely honest from the beginning um yeah. to the point where you're just like if you're not into it i'm not really interested <laughs> yeah fuck this shit i mean that's what i did with my boyfriend who we're in a very serious relationship now and at the beginning i was just like look I'm looking for someone that will dominate me a bit. Are you into that or not? Because yeah. <laughs> sometimes it can, yeah. You can have like have to train them. I mean, when I first met my boyfriend as of now, he really wasn't so keen on the idea. Not that he yeah. wasn't keen, but he was like, like didn't really know what he was doing. And the more I spoke to him, the more I, I talked to him, made him feel comfortable, the yeah, more he was like, like, you know it. what, actually, I'm really into the same stuff as you, but I've never been yeah. allowed to... Ha go into it and watch porn of the same stuff because I felt guilty and yeah. bad. I think more people are into it than they know. Yeah. Because it's just so fun. It's Spanking, so fun to especially. be like, so fun to be naughty in the bedroom. It just is, isn't it? It's it just, is. Yeah. Uh, especially if it's just, if it's stuff that you're into and you can feel comfortable enough to do that with another person. That's, yeah. that's huge. That's like, it's so huge. Big confidence building and, and exciting for you both. And, yeah. and, you know, can build a really strong relationship. Yeah. With spanking, there are loads and loads of guys out there that like spanking. So many. Especially like, specifically spanking <laughs> fetishes and the idea of role play. Um, I mean, you think about all the guys out there that constantly complain that girls are too prude and they're not into this stuff and it's yeah. bullshit. It's just because you haven't found each other yet. I mean, who would not want to spank a butt? Yeah, who wouldn't? Um, sexy butt. <laughs> sexy ass. Especially, you know, get get those welts on there, get them all reg and bruised even. Yeah. Um, and there will be guys out there that are into specifically spanking and not the BDSM stuff. Yeah. Um, it might come hand in hand because it often does with, you know, dominance play and all that yeah. stuff. But there are like fetish clubs that you could try out. Yeah. Like Torture Garden. They have huge, huge spanking shows on there. Um, also, Fet Life is a. It's almost a bit like a Facebook kind of dating yeah. site, but for people who are into kinks. I did try um, that like a couple of years ago. And it's not like super successful. I just found it. I wouldn't. People on there are just a bit like, oh, they don't really seem like the sort of people that I would usually go for. Yeah, you'd have to really trust someone and talk to somebody before you even thought about meeting up with them. You are meeting somebody on a, yeah. a fetish site, so you have to yeah. be careful. It's the same with on Tinder. Like, you are you can make a Tinder profile and put in big, plain, huge letters, I am into spanking, and be completely open and honest with it, and you never know. You might get messages from people being like, all I want to do is spank you all day yeah. and be your filthy teacher and tell yeah. you off all the time because that's hot that is hot but you have to think, refine it yeah dating apps are really good for that sort of thing because i always feel like you can be a bit more out there when you start yeah. talking to someone because it's like a sexy i don't know it's tinder yeah. like you're gonna be fucking on <laughs> date probably and you could just be like yeah i'm into spanking you mm. and there's nothing wrong with being 
honest and open about it. There's also nothing wrong with fucking on the first date. I would never... I mean, I'd fuck on the first date. I would never want to start seeing somebody if I didn't know what they were like in bed. Yeah. Like, fuck that shit. Yeah, I can't imagine waiting, like, over a month or something and you just be like... You get really into them then. What if it was really disappointing? Oh, you're really shit. Or, like, you're not compatible. Or he loses interest. Or she loses interest. Yeah. It's better just to get all that shit out the way with and see how it works but also be prepared if you do write i'm into spanking on tinder you'll get a lot of weird messages a lot of people saying sexual messages yeah. up front and first of all and you kind of want to avoid that shit because yeah. that's not really how you play the tinder game no. you talk first you're polite you're nice yeah. and you talk about what your interests are and that could be spanking yeah and i think you'll be surprised at how many people that you'll find that will be into it as yeah. well like it's, if you start being honest with people about it then they'll you'll just see that there are more people into it absolutely yeah so we hope that help <laughs> so like our videos and please subscribe it means we, we can make more for you we love subscribers um and comment as well comment all over our videos because we can reply to those a lot easier than we can yeah discuss discuss like the questions that we've answered here like if you have any other advice for people mm. that'd be really useful like we'd really love people to find advice in our comments yeah. as well as in our videos the big community thing where you help each other out it's because we're being honest and open about sex yeah so we'll see you next week <laughs> see you next week bye, bye.